Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the song tempo in Reaper very quickly. Now, a lot of times you're working with audio, you're not sure the tempo you're working with. It could be a loop, could be some background music, or it could be a full song. And you want to find out the tempo without time stretching it. Just find that tempo as it was played. So a few pieces of music here, we're going to find the tempo for together. Now there's a few different ways of doing this, but the first thing we have to do is change the time base for the way Reaper operates. When we change tempo, so if we go up here to the project settings right here, we'll see by default, the time base for items is set to beats, position, length, and rate. If we keep it like that and change our tempo from 120 to something like 200, it's going to stretch our audio. See how the rate changes? for each one of these. So it's gonna make them play back faster. Now that's really helpful if you wanna change the tempo of the song you're working on. But if you just wanna find the tempo without changing it, you wanna be in a different mode. So let's put this back to 120. And instead, let's switch it in the project settings, right here. Time base for items, and we can change it to be time. So if we change the tempo now to 200, the only thing that changes is the ruler or the bars and beats. It doesn't stretch the audio. It's still gonna play back the same way. So that's the mode we wanna be in for doing this. Now we could also change it by track instead of by project. Let's put this back to 120 and instead put the project settings Back to the default and just change it on this track. Right click, go down here to track time base and change this to time. And that's going to do the same thing. If we change the tempo, it's not going to stretch the audio. It's just going to change the bars and beats in our ruler. So let's put this back to 120 and let's find the tempo of these pieces of music. Let's hear this first one. Now the first thing we wanna do is find the downbeat that we could work off of. In this situation, it's the first hit. So this hit right here can be bar one, beat one. So now we need another point as a point of reference. It could be bar two, bar three, or any other bar later in the song. So let's play this back and count and find bar three. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two. It winds up being right over here. Let's count it again. So right over here, at this transient, is going to be bar three. So let's go to that first transient and trim it really close. Trim it back to that first hit. Then we're going to put this right at bar one. So we can double click it to open the media item properties. Type right here, bar one. And it moves it right to bar one. Then this transient right here should be bar three, which is right over here now. So we should put our cursor right on bar three. Now if I do it with snapping turned off, it's not gonna be perfect. So instead, I'm gonna use this keystroke. On PC, it's control J, and on Mac, it's command J. Hit that, it opens up this dialog where we could jump to any bar. So let's type in three, Hit return, and it goes right to bar three. So it's right on that bar. Then we could right click on the cursor in the ruler 
then go down here to insert tempo or time signature marker. And it's going to put in a tempo marker. Now we don't need to worry about this tempo. We're not going to keep this marker. We're just going to use it to stretch our ruler. So just hit return and let's zoom out and see what we did. Right over here, it's 120. And over here, it's 120. Now, if we move it by dragging it, it just moves that marker. But if we add in a modifier on PC, it's control, on Mac, it's command, and now drag it, it moves the ruler as we do it. So, watch what happens to this tempo. It changes when we move this faster or slower, depending on when we place this marker. So, let's put it right in this transient, right here. And now if we double click this marker, we can see the tempo is 90.583 beats per minute. So then we could delete this marker as we don't need it. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac. We don't want a tempo change. Now the whole project is this tempo. So now if we turn on our metronome, it should play in time with the music. Pretty good. So that's the tempo of this piece. Now let's try the next one. And let's do the same thing with this piece of music. Once again, we'll trim that first piece, which is going to be bar one, beat one. As it is a downbeat, then we'll put it right at bar one, moves it there. Then we'll find a reference point for another bar, maybe bar five. So let's count along. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two. So this downbeat right here is bar five. Let's count it again. So again, right here is going to be bar five. So we'll hit that keystroke to jump right to bar five, put a tempo marker right here, but instead of doing it with the menu, we could do it with this keystroke. Shift C. So hit that keystroke and it creates a tempo marker. Again, we don't need to set this up, just hit OK. And then we can move it so that bar five right here lines up on this transient. Let's get closer. We could delete this, zoom back up, and this should be in line with the metronome. And the tempo will be 91.291. Beats per minute. Let's hear it. Pretty good. So that's the tempo for this piece. Now I want to do one more to show you a different situation. And let's hear this piece. Notice a difference. It doesn't start on a downbeat. So for this piece, we're gonna have to trim in and cut part of it off, but that's okay. We can put it back later and just trim it in right to the first attack. That first kick drum. So now it sounds like this. And we can make this bar one. 
So again, we're going to hear it and find a future reference point. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three. Right over here should be bar three. So again, jump to bar three, hit Shift C, return, and we can move this around. Let's find that kick. Right here, let's move it right to that spot. Perfect. And again, we could delete this. And if we double click this to check the tempo, we can see that it's just about 77 beats per minute. In fact, because it's programmed, it's probably 77. And we're just a bit off in where we placed these markers. So let's just set it to 77 and see if that works. Turn on the metronome. Again, it's perfect. But if you remember, we cut off the intro. So now we have to do is turn on snapping. So it'll snap to the bar. Then we can move this to bar three and trim it back to reveal that pickup. So this downbeat right here is still perfectly on bar three, but we didn't lose the pickup. And we found the tempo of this entire song. So that's pretty much it. That's how you find the song tempo in loops, music, or even full tracks in Reaper. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!